Um, not really sure what to do with this goobert, if we being honest. I think we do pan. I feel like the pan can turn into a shovel, which can help us later down the line. I feel like that's just the better play versus having two swords. I don't really know how to really use two swords. Um, so yeah, I think we do goobert and then we could just put a pan right there. I think that'd be a better play. Um, and then we also got the broom and a whetstone. We can really buy all of this. Honestly, I think that's well, we'll have 10 gold. Um, I want the broom turn into a shovel. Spikes is always good to have early turn that into a spike shield. Um, we need some form of food on us. So that's why garlic whetstone, we can turn this into a hero sword. And then space is always good to have because everyone loves space. We'll have 10 gold next round. We're going to need this to turn it into a shovel. Well, you know, let's just reserve everything. But I think uh, the the broom probably takes priority over anything. Oh, so this guy's got the sword. He's got the spear. We sh ah, yeah, the spear is just good. I mean, we have our goober with us, which helps, but nah, not against the spears. Spears just get to have early. Um, let's go ahead and buy this broom. So we can get a nice little combination going there. And then the next best thing I think we should probably buy would be, um, let's get walrus tusk for DPS. And then we'll get this for survivability. And then we can also help the pan do a little bit more damage, even though I don't think it'll, uh, I don't think we're going to win this next one. Usually whenever I'm combining a uh, pan and broom for a shovel, it's always an L, <laughs> especially uh, against claws of attack, which that's something we could also do claws of attack. Um, with the Walrus Tusk. Um, we almost won that, actually. They have one health left. I'm actually surprised. Boom. Nice little combination. Let's get you, you. Let's roll. And we did get another Whetstone. So we already got a Hero Sword. We also got the Wooden Buckler. And let's get some space. Um, we could buy the Broom again. Just for these two. Which could be, uh, could be good. Not sure yet. Could be good. Um, but yeah, let's put the... Little Goobert there. We could... Well, uh, this is going to be a hard decision. I want to do that just to help out, you know, add one more DPS to both of those. Help us out with DPS, but we could also do that for the activation of the Goobert. I think we're going to do that. Um, I don't really have any reason why, but I, I just think it's the better play. So we're just going to do that. Hopefully we can take a W here. Considering we have the Goobert, they only have banana plus healing herbs as their form of survivability. And then they also got the shovel and wooden sword for DPS. We should be able to out DPS them mainly because we also got the Whetstone, but also out survived because of the Goobert. And we win. Ooh, we dug ourselves up a stone and we got a stone in the shot, which is a little bit interesting. Let's go ahead and turn that into a hero sword though. Um, we only got seven left, but I do want to buy both of these, if I'm being honest. Well, we could get a wave of one it's a little bit risky but well, i don't think we should i don't well i don't think we should take the risk let's buy this we can sell the stone to get the wooden buckler um put the wooden buckler there that'll help us out with the activation of the goober and then we can get a spike shows as well and then we could just go ahead and start this should be pretty solid Against this, we should definitely win. I mean, they only have poison on their side as far as DPS go. We could just speed up this battle. This is going to be a boring one. Uh, we should just... Yeah, <laughs> we should definitely win. I'd be surprised if we lose. There's no way we lose this, right? Right, right? Little, a lot close to comfort. Considering they only have three things of food on them. A lot close to comfort. But we got a spike shield. We got a hero sword. That'll up our DPS. We could turn this to a steel goober, but we need the hero sword for DPS. So we're not going to be doing that. We got an acorn collar, which is pretty nice. So I'll definitely be saving that. Um, let's get the broom because with the acorn collar, we can get ourselves a crit wood staff if we can find a mana orb. So let's go ahead and buy you. Let's roll here. We should have probably rolled with the customer card on this, right? That would have probably been smart. Um, but we did get a healing herb on sale, which I think is the better play to purchase and we can reserve all three of those just because getting a banana would be good uh blueberries is good if we turn that into a mana orb and then i forgot what the other item is but they're all good they're all good trust me trust me they're all good so this guy's got double sword with the dagger i believe we should be able to out dps him and out heal him because of the goober and then plus spikes you know having three weapons on him when we have spikes is just yeah we just take that w let's sell the coal because i do not like coal at all um what should take priority here 
That's a great question. I do kind of want to get the cap of resilience because I feel like it could be good, especially with the uh, the new cap of discomfort. I feel like that can be nice to have. Um, I just don't have enough gold for everything, though, but I know we need space. So let's go ahead and buy that. Um, <clears throat> it could be of in interest to actually. Yeah, let's do it. Let's turn this like so that way we can f save a little bit of room do a little bit something like this that way we have just this big old thing right here that we can use um for our blueberry situation like that help us out activate the goober a little bit faster i um, mean yeah i think it's overall good i'm gonna save the cavalry we can't really fit it anywhere we're definitely gonna be needing space here soon or now actually not even soon we need it now but um, I think it's just good to buy it now uh, for, for the future. But this guy literally only has a wooden sword and two stones as far as DPS goes. He's also got thorns, which is going to be probably his main form of DPS. However, we definitely outheal him, I believe. So we should be able to take this one home. I'm pretty sure thorns is probably his main form of DPS here. Let me see. Just kind of want to look at that. Um, yep, spikes, 39 damage. And then poison with the second farm, which is kind of crazy. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a mana orb. So what we could do, we can actually combine the goober with the hero sword here. And then next round, or uh, should we do it this round? Um, yeah, I think we should do it this round just to save a round. Let's go ahead and do that. We can go ahead and combine that. And then next round, those two will combine. And then we can put the shovel back on the field, which I think would be great. Um... Then we're just going to need a third weapon or a second weapon. Once we uh, get rid of the shovel, we're going to need another weapon to replace this guy, which we could buy the Lucky Clover for the Fortuna's Grace. I think that's probably our best bet. Or we could save the lightsaber here, which we oh, we only have one farm of regeneration. And we kind of just don't have any blind. It could be a good play, but I think we probably go with Fortuna's Grace just because of the critting um, that it has when a weapon crits next attack hits twice and then since we're already going to have the crit wood staff which all your attacks are critical when you're using mana i feel like that would probably be the better play and we can go ahead and sell our garlic just so we can buy the cap of resilience um and then we can start i think this will be solid we might lose this just because we're combining here we don't really have too many good forms of dps neither does this guy realistically um so we might actually win this um hmm. they got more well we got the same amount of pierce but they do have more regeneration than we do i feel like the main thing that's keeping us afloat would probably be our goober however we do have seven blind they also got blind on them as well but they're able to generate a little bit more i think the goober is just pretty much one is that honestly boom nice little combination i think we should probably go with the leaf here we could also go with the piercing arrow um mm. okay maybe we go with the leaf here mainly because the piercing arrow this biggest thing is it generates our uh, luck for us which helps us with crits however if our crit will staff always makes us crit we don't really need luck like that right the only reason to have luck at that point is for accuracy um which means that we could get the leaf here which helps us with that mana um, and then the regeneration is always a good, nice thing to have, even though we're not going to use it because we don't really have a bloodthorn or anything like that. Um, the only other reason we would pull this is because I have 30% 30 30 critical damage and then the remove five uh, shield on crit, which is good. However, I think the leaf might be a better play. But then again, as far as space goes, this would be the better place because you need a lot of space for the leaf to use it at its max, you know, capacity because of all the stars that it gives. However, I think I'm going to go with the leaf. So let's go ahead and get that. Um, we don't have any potions right now, so I'm not going to get the potion belt, but we do need space. So I'm going to get the leather back. This guy is on sale, which is a little bit interesting, but I don't really like it like that. And then as soon as we're talking about the hungry blade, we could pull a hungry blade here. Hungry Blade, Hungry Blade. We could pull a Hungry Blade here, which is an option. Hey, Carpety. It looks kind of suggestive. <laughs> You're nasty. I agree, though. <laughs> I agree. Um, I'm not really sure what to do here. We could sell Shovel. Sell Shovel for a little bit of money. Get the Hungry Blade. 
get a little bit of space and try to figure out the slottage with the leaf to get a little bit more regeneration so our hungry blade can do a little bit more dps i think that would probably be the best play here so yeah let's sell you we'll get the hungry blade um we also need space but we also kind of need the blueberries to feed our magic staff let's see that's probably good right there maybe turn that yeah that's good right there and then we can get the blueberry to feed off of there and let's reserve the fanny pack i also want to get the pineapple if i'm being completely honest with myself i kind of also want to get the pineapple um was that four that'll also be four right yeah um We could move like, uh, honestly, I don't know. I, I feel like that's probably the best uh, we could probably do. It's doing this, honestly. Um, we could sell both Lucky Culvers now. I don't really need them like that. Just so we can get the fanny pack. And then with the fanny pack, I can maybe try to make this make a little bit more sense. That way, both of these uh, blueberries are getting activated. And we can incorporate our cap of resilience as well. I'm not going to get the pineapple. I don't want to reserve it. Um, it's, it's just too much gold for me to want it right now. So this guy's got hero longsword. He's got double arrow. He went with the piercing arrow as well. He's got a lot of DPS, not a lot of survivability though. So we have him beat on that, which is really good. We have the still Goobert. We have um, Magic Staff, Hungry Blade. So we have him beat on survivability, but he definitely has his beat on DPS. And I don't know how we just missed that right now with 90% accuracy. And we keep missing for some reason. And he just crit on us. This is not looking great. His DPS might be... Oh, damn. Yeah, we took 36 damage right there. We got fucking absolutely rocked oh this is an interesting one. Oh my this is very interesting so we can either go with ribshaw blade or we can get ourselves a bloodthorn um which would help us because our spike shield would be able to give us a little bit more dps however ripshaw blade is the ripshaw blade right which is really good everyone loves a ripshaw blade I, I honestly i don't even know which one to go for right now i've got no idea which one i want to go for i feel like the thorn whip with the hungry blade might be a little bit better Rip, uh getting getting the um i feel like getting the blood thorn might be a little bit better however we need space in order to combine it and that's kind of just something we don't have right now so i i think we do this and we just fish for space we're gonna need a lot more space than that getting this would be good but yeah we're gonna need a lot more space than just a fanny pack if we want to combine here unless we risk next round we could say no to this and fit this in here somehow yeah, we can fit that in there and we just risk the next round like we just automatically lose next round um ooh, getting that flute is pretty nice too I, I think that's what we do i think that's what we do so yeah let's combine we're just going to lose next round um get the flute as well unless we win which is a possibility but i'm pretty sure we're gonna oh triple claws of attack with a spike shield along with poison ivy wowsy wowzers um I actually don't know if we're going to win this or not. Looks like we are, though, mainly because of Spikes. I'm pretty sure Spikes is doing the most uh, DPS here. Because they had three forms of attack and all their forms of attack uh, hit us really, really fast, getting that Spikes on us really helped us out a lot. It, it was our main form of damage, 107 damage. That's the only reason we won right there. It was kind of fortunate, honestly. But now we have ourselves a Bloodthorn. Let's go ahead and put you back on the field. Thank you. And we could put our flute here. That'll help us out a lot. Now, there's two things here that I want. That being the Degen lamp, because it's just good. Along with the blood amulet, because of the uh, the vampirism that we get. Just in case we do go against the Ripshaw Blade, and it kind of just destroys all of our regeneration. And our Bloodthorn can't convert it into spikes slash uh, vampirism to do more damage. So at least we'll have two vampirism healer. 
that can help us out a little bit and you know vampirism is good and then the 20 maximum health which would be good or we could combine that with the leather armor and get ourselves a vampiric armor which can also be good but we don't have the slots for the leather armor so kind of just not gonna do that honestly just because we kind of just we just don't have the slots really um but yeah let's actually i'm gonna put this down here get a little bit more juice on both of those actually we should have done that a long time ago wow um but yeah now i want to buy the degen lamp because i feel like it's good and i kind of want to get the pineapple just because the pineapple will not only help us with the degen lamp but it'll also help us with the blood thorn which would be good we just need space and money for it which 18 gold is a lot so we're not going to be able to get both of them in the same round unfortunately but yeah um we should be able to win versus this guy he's got poison healing a little bit of a uh, little bit of vampirism however we have spikes which helps us a lot of against his cause of attack um and i believe we also out heal him so yeah we should be able to out dps and out heal this guy which looks like is exactly what's happening thank you sir take that w interesting there's some interesting very interesting actually getting the gloves of haste and combining that for this little guy getting that six vampirism would really be good especially since we already have a blood amulet um getting the mana orb would be good to feed our crit with staff a little bit better bird is always a good choice um but you know dj lamp plus pineapple is something we've been trying to do right it's just i'm not really sure which one we should do right now <laughs> um and we only have 14 gold as well or 13 gold so i think the best play would probably getting pineapple along with gloves of haste because pineapple helps a blood thorn and it'll also help just because thorns is good um and then the gloves of haste combining that as soon as possible would be phenomenal so i think that's probably the best play here and then we can just move that down there like so even though this is still just one i think it'll be fine um now we just need space in order to figure out how in the world we're going to be able to combine this we could say no no goodbye to the banana for now and put the regeneration back that is an option that we have just so we can combine really quickly i think that'll be good and then i'm not going to reserve the board it's too much money but we will reserve the mana orb um the more mana generation we have the more this will proc for the crit the better that both of these guys can do a little bit more damage now we're going against a poison build it seems hopefully our um hopefully our vampirism will be able to out heal the poison along with the uh 16 what you call it which seems to be the way honestly we just did 58 damage there yeah <laughs> that was really good boom so now we have a vampiric gloves we got to figure out where to put that i'm probably going to put it on the flute because we don't really have anything else to put it on except for, you know, our actual weapons. But these all, you know, I, I feel like putting um, anything that helps anything increase um, speed, I feel like it's better to put it on something that's already slow. Just a personal preference, honestly. Um, but not really sure what we should buy here. I say we get the leather bag because that's always a good choice. And we could finally invest into the degen lamp here um let's see here we could do that on the flute make that a little bit faster and we could put that there just to make that a little bit faster as well and then we can incorporate the banana like so the only problem is don't really know where to put the dj lamp which we could just turn that put that towards the crit wood staff and then dj lamp towards the crit wood staff as well um the only problem is I'd rather have this on the flute, honestly. Uh, but we won't really have space in order to do that. So I think we'll just have to rock with this. We could reserve the potion belt for next round. Just so we can have the space to actually do that. Um, but I also want to get the mana orb. And we could get a leather, ba uh, leather bag next round. But I let's see how much gold we get. We get 14 gold. We don't really have potions. I don't know. I feel like it's. I don't know. Let's let's just let's not risk it. Let's just get both of these next round. I don't want. I really don't want to risk it. Um. So, this dude's not really sure what his build is. However, he's got the still goober, and we both got the still goober. But we should be able to win this. Just just thankfully because of spikes, and he's dead. Like I, he dies faster than I could talk. What was our main form of damage there? The crit was stab actually. 
and spikes actually surprisingly with uh bloodthorn being second probably because he had three forms of dps there i think that's the reason why we did so much damage so let's go ahead and get the potion belt along with the magic side we could also pick up blueberry because blueberry would be good now the question is where are we actually gonna put this guy putting it here would probably be ideal honestly um and then we could turn the garlic and put the flute there instead and then figure out a food situation for this guy let's see both of these make it 10 percent faster so that's like two food already touching our pineapple if you know no food's touching our pineapple um i feel like that would probably be the best bet we can even move this down by one that way we can have the hands on not only the dj lent but also the flute and then we could just put our garlic right there which i think helps a lot and then we could just buy this guy or we could turn that that way we have a blueberry touching both of those um and then we'll just buy the blueberries just to put it there i think that would be good uh the only problem is that's what three missing that's four missing okay we're only missing one by doing that and then it's also getting 35 percent faster having just that one extra star just makes it what 10 percent faster so that's pretty much like three and a half stars right there Oh, we also got another one. It's on sale as well. Yeah, we should definitely buy it. Um, Let's go ahead and get DJ Lint plus the protective purse. And then hopefully, yeah, we should, yeah, yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine with this. This is what I call a build. However, that's four different forms of attack versus our thorns. We should be able to beat him due to just that alone, honestly. Um, So we should be fine here oh massive damage right there as you guys can see yeah but they do have a good build it's just not good enough to go against us but they do have a good build um i kind of do want to use birds but let's get the protective person to play we could also put our dj lamp right there which i think would be good we could put that there i want a bird but we don't have space for it I, yeah there we go i just really want the fish for space right there i feel like that'll help us a lot more um we got another blueberry is a little bit interesting as far as mana generation goes if i can get me a health potion to get a mana potion that would be nice as well however i think we're good we could get the blueberry just to get it i mean we'll see we'll see let's this is also only two gold we don't really need a banana like that though let's just see if our mana generation keeps up with our crit with staff here see what happens oh this is gonna be a little bit interesting do they have any they don't have any forms of spikes though so we don't really have to worry about their dj lamp proccing at all i feel like we have everything covered as far as what needs to we need seven of each of these um and i think we generate seven of each we need a little bit more mana generation though in order for our blueberries to give us uh the luck oh we lose this actually Yeah, we lose that actually wow actually surprised we lost that um 14 to 17 damage 15 to 17 damage mainly because of the, probably because of the mana the 12 uh, is still 12 light let's see how much damage he did to us right there mana thirst 181 damage jeez good game though very good game but yeah we need a little bit more yeah blueberries in order to get the um in order to get those uh clovers in order for our crit with staff to proc so that'll be good for us to be honest um so yeah we could get the book of light but i don't want to use the 10 mana right now even though it's on sale i feel like it can help us out in the later rounds we just need a little bit more mana generation for me to want to use this or i could use it now honestly i'm not that sure not that sure it is on sale i gotta keep that in mind it is most definitely uh on sale so we could buy it yeah let's just buy it. it's on sale why not um let's get the space as well actually no let's not get the space i want a different form of space versus that form we could get the blood amulet blood amulet would be good um okay this is what the form of space i want but we don't have money for it though there's really not anything i want to sell here we could sell the customer card which did not mean to do that yeah, let's sell the customer card just so we can get the stamina sack main reason why i want the stamina sack there is because of those three extra stars that we can fill up 
which I think will be good for us. Um, and we can turn it like that. I could put a blueberry there instead. Yeah, I feel like that's good. Put the banana there and then boom, put that there. I think that'll be nice because this is what 2.5 seconds. This is 3.5. However, boy, it's only 10% faster though because of that. So this will probably be a better bet to put there instead. However, with our leaf being here, not really sure. I mean, I could turn that and then do that. Still getting the prockets right there and then just put the um, that there and put a blue bear right there. Yeah, okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. All the blue bears are at least touching something. We're getting that mana generation along with uh, the clovers as well, which I think is good. This is still only four though, which is concerning. But I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine here. Let's see. Let's see what we go against. Another similar build as the one we just faced, except he doesn't have the hero sword. Um, but he's rocking the hero longsword, double claws of attack, a lot of block at the beginning of the game, which might not be too big of a problem. Considering we have thorns, plus vampirism and regeneration, all the good stuff. Let's see how our um, our blueberries do here. See if we can build up that luck. We just need two more. Okay, there we go. Now we just need a little bit more mana. And boom, it should have proc. Yes, it did. We're really low, but I think... Oh, that saved us so hard there. I don't know how we got so low. I've got no idea how we got so low. These are doing, what, 13 to 15 damage because of the hero sword? Is that why? Plus the crits? Probably. Wow, that was actually a super close game there. Super close. Oh, this will help us a lot, actually. To help us, um, because we, we just need this to proc. The sooner our crit will staff procs, the better. And I feel like this mana ore will probably help with that. We just got to figure out a spot to actually put it. Um, blood amulet will help us, of course. Just in general. Just don't know where to put this now. <laughs> um, we could put it there, I guess, maybe. Or just there would probably be uh, good as well. I kind of want to put it on a book of light somehow. I mean, we could do just that. Or maybe even just that. That way it procs out the Book of Light and a little bit of food as well. Might not be too shabby. And then we can buy... We could buy the carrot for that last proc. Which I think would be good. And then uh, so reserve the stamina sack for for that as well. Which I think would be good. Um... Okay, yeah. I'm just going to put that up there for now. I feel like that will be... I feel like that will be fine. Another Claws of Attack build with the Hero Sword. A lot of people are watching this. Three of them in a row. This guy's got a Blood Goober, which is very dangerous. Along with two Blood Amulets and a Hungry Blade. This is... Uh, this is going to be mighty concerning. Mighty, mighty concerning. Hopefully, we can proc ASAP, which it looks like we're going to be able to. One more Clover. There we go. Procs off. And we should be able to kill this guy now. Um, there we go. 80 damage. Massive. Come on, let me get another one. Another 80. Let's go. Okay, as long as we keep hitting those 80s, bro, we should be fine here. Holy shit! 130 damage? Ah! It procced twice. I wasn't expecting you to proc twice. I was not expecting you to proc twice. That was insane. 132 damage there. He stood no chance. No chance. Let's put that there. I feel like that's a better spot. We could get a dragon. I mean, we only got two rounds left to live, so I guess there's really no point. Um, another Dejin Lunt, which could help, especially for that last round, just to get a little bit more, a little bit faster. Which I think it'll help, possibly. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's get the Protective Purse just to buy it, reserve that guy. Next round, we will get the Dejin Lamp in... The rest is history. Oh, going to get some... Oh, this is going to be really bad for us, actually. Because he's going to eat up our regeneration one, but also he's probably going to eat up our, uh, our our spikes as well. So we can say goodbye to our regeneration. We can say goodbye to our spikes. However, we were able to get at least 11 vampirism here, and we're still generating spikes because of the pineapple, along uh, with the degen lamp as well. So that's good, at least. Um, but hopefully we can generate enough in order to actually have our crit wood staff proc here, which it doesn't seem like it, but we might be able to still do enough DPS with our Bloodthorn doing 16 to 20. 
in order to kill this guy, which seems like the case for the most part, considering how the battle's been going thus far. This is going to be a long battle. Oh my god, we just took so much damage there. From what? From the Fortuna's Grace? Oh yeah, we lost this for sure. Lost this for sure. Yeah, he was able to build up his clovers and have this do, what, 90%? And as soon as that happened, Fortuna's Grace just destroyed us, doing 50 damage each. So yeah, that was an L. And then he's also got uh, the Flawless Rubies on here for that life steal, keeping him above float a little bit more. Um, But yeah, good, good, uh, good, good build, good build. And we got our Ripshaw Blade of our own. But yeah, let's get the Dijon Lamp just for a little bit. And we could also get ourselves another Pineapple here for a little bit more Thorn building, which I think we do. Let's put it there. Um, And let's put the Blueberry there, I suppose. And Regeneration can go anywhere. And we could just buy this other Regeneration just to buy it. And boom, that is our build. That is our build. Let's see how this goes against big boy dragon, small boy dragon, a lot of poison, a lot of thorns, and a dark saber. Good old dark saber. There's a little bit more damage per debuff that we have. So as the battle goes on, this is probably going to do a lot more damage to us, considering I don't think we have a form. We uh, Our only form of cleansing is the carrot here. So that's a thing. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Let's see how this goes. 80 damage? Did, our, did we proc? We proc Okay, that's really, really good for us. We proc I, I We should win this just because of the proccing. We should be. Yep. Yeah, boom. 130 at the end. Yeah. So our Kryptonite, honestly, would just be the Ripshaw Blade, destroying our spikes that we need for the DJ Limp, unless we can outspike the Ripshaw Blade, which usually doesn't happen. Usually. Unless you have the potions, obviously. But um, yeah, good game. I um, mean, yeah, that was nice. That was nice.